one could be fatal. What does she do? Take him to the pub. Probably give him a knee trembler on the way home for good luck. Too much information. Thing is, I'm sick of the sound of me on nagging. Stop doing it then. She'll get bored and go home soon. Yeah, that's where you come in, PC Sharp. Check him out for us, will ya? Gary Denmore. Yeah, my mum's fella. Ex, whatever. Says he kicked her door in, smashed her up, reckons he'd threatened the neighbours. So? So she's lying. I know it and I want my dad to know it too. Just check the database. I can't do that. It'll take you two minutes. I could lose my job. You won't lose your job, you know you won't. And my mum's bad news. She's still your mum. And she's talking about domestic abuse. What kind of a person lies about a thing like that? The kind of person that lies about giving birth to Lloyd's son. I meet the others outside that sports bar place at 10. Wicked. So, how do you feel? Mary. <laughs> I mean, about finishing your training, you dab cow. I can't believe I actually did it. I'm bricking it about starting work properly. Oh, you'll love it. You'll never get bored. And there's, there's no better feeling than weaving in and out of the traffic with your blue light flashing. The adrenaline that kicks in. Oh, it's better than any drink of drugs. You're flying by the seat of your pants, literally. Bring it on. The uniform's a little bit outmoded, but you can't have it all. <laughs> we were at this house in Russia home last night. Some bloke had been beating his wife up, and she weren't going to say it were him at first. She was scared of the reprisals. But we got it out of her in the end. She's in a safe house, and he's banged up. See, I grew up being taught to believe that the force were the enemy, but... <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm on the side of the little people. What, the munchkins? <laughs> <laughs> God, have you seen the time? I hope we haven't missed her. Oh, past care in me. <laughs> Ooh, Neil! <laughs> what? <laughs> you was looking at him? Shut up, he's figured something up with your eyes. Take a look in the mirror, you gozzy bitch. Are you looking for a slapping face, are uh, you? Off who? Off me, you vile slapper. Come here and say that. Off me, you vile slapper. Oh, oh God, come on. What are you doing? Uh, I'm sorting them out. I'll, I'll remember your training report the fight. Stay out of it. <laughs> police, please. No! No! Oh, come on! Oh, come on, girl! 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 Come on, Have the doctor told you anything yet? Yeah. Turns out I've got a detached retina. You haven't? Afraid so. I've got to have an operation. Don't worry, Matt, I'll be fine. Just can't get my head around all this. I mean, I got away with a few scratches and look at you. Why was I so stupid? You weren't. Just made a bad call like we all do occasionally. Don't go beating yourself up over it, do you? Yeah, she's just upstairs. Mel! Visitor! So, how are you? I believe you've been in the wars. Have a bit, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, some crazy people out there, I wouldn't like to have to deal with them, I wouldn't. Hey, Daryl, come on, shift. You haven't got squatters right on that sofa, you know. Oh, yeah. I was gonna ring you. Have the doctor's told you anything new? Uh, Daryl, come on, come on. Help me with the salad. Come on. Oh. Well, they've reattached the retina. Yeah. But there's still a bit of damage to the back of the eye. The kind of tear which they can't do anything about. And what does that like mean? Uh, yeah, I've got to be careful. Probably. Nobody bashes me on the head again. And that I've got a kind of blind spot. Might make it more difficult Stop to focus. It. No. They've been really nice. They've a desk job for me till. Well, who knows till when? Might be forever. Would well, you know what? I hope they lock that woman up forever. No, not forever, but for a long time, for years. They're not charging her. Well, they've got it. Why not? They've looked at it, and they don't think they can make it stick. 
But that's... That's terrible. That's just plain wrong. That shouldn't be allowed to happen. So when are you going to go back to work, then? It's up to the dock. But actually, and this is between you and me... What? I'm wondering whether to bother. How do you mean? I can't be a real copper, which I can't be. And all right, no one's actually come out and said it, but let's face it, I can't. So maybe I'm better off out of it. No. Find a job where a wonky eye ain't such a big deal. You told me. Police is all you've ever wanted to do. It was. Hi, Abby. I've been knocking for ages. What are you doing? Oh, sorry, I had a DVD on. Are you panting, Jerry? That's a fair cop. No pun intended. Oh, it's one of those DVDs. Yeah. Bums and tums. Teresa left it. They gave me a pedometer, but just kept leading me to the chip. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, stuff that. How are you? Oh, if another person asked me that. Mm, scream. Mm. It's no consolation, but our Mel's in bits. I know. I haven't helped matters. She just kept going on and on, and in the end, it snapped. I'm still trying to get my head around all this. I can't carry her as well. That sounds hard. Um, she cares about you. She seemed to be in a bit of a state. I thought I'd come and apologise. She's not here, love. She hasn't been back. She's not answering the phone either. Can you get her to give me a call, Jerry? Please. Of course I will. When I see her.